welcome to a new video on the abu shaw channel okay this is my engineering channel engineering engineering and design electrical engineering and design channel okay i'll be bringing to you guys everything electrical engineering and design related okay on this channel so welcome to another video um today's topic is going to be about what is the number one skill you need to have to become a engineer i think this applies to across the board okay what is the number one skill you need okay why is, sorry guys my audio is like breaking here okay okay oh, wait. what is the number one skill you need okay the number one skill you need, um, take a guess, matter of fact. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys take a guess, pause the video, comment down below, okay, and see if you get it right. I don't I don't cheat, okay? <laughs> Put your answer and let's see if we match, if we're on the same page here, okay? And if we don't match, that means you have to watch more videos so we can get on the same page. Gotcha, right? <laughs> okay, um, so, let me guys tell you this story okay when i was in when i was in college okay i started at a community college particularly specifically l tri c okay lehigh carbon community college okay um i went in with the intention to learn a skill okay um and i kind of ended up i told my this is what that's what i told my um my uh counselor right um so i, I just want to learn a skill something skillful and this and that and thankfully really he um, did not but I, he assumed right he said oh engineering i said yes <laughs> okay so that's how i kind of fell into the engineering engineering uh lab okay into the engineering field okay let me turn this way the light is kind of like blasting me a bit okay so i told him engineering i mean i told him i just wanted to learn a skill okay and he put me he said engineering and i said yes and i said electrical i said uh and then i actually was the one who specifically said electrical because um i've always actually been interested in um, electrical engineering or uh, anything electrical particularly electricity blah blah blah, blah. okay so i had i had no i have no idea when I started in this field, uh, I had no idea about electrical engineering. Obviously, the, like, I have, let's say I have no idea, zero, no basics in this science, particularly electrical engineering, okay? So that's how I got in. And um, then my first class that I took, right, was, uh, was, um, dc circuit this is how early on i mean this is how that was my first exposure say to actually at a in a in an academic setting was dc circuits okay so i remember the teacher she was russian um awesome lady i, I actually got the opportunity to bond with her she's so awesome and um i think to this day she's actually one of the main reasons why i was able to uh graduate as a as an engineer, as an electrical engineer so what did she do okay so the first i want to i don't know if it was, it was the first day but it was definitely that first week okay we might have had her like two days a week or whatever or three days a week but that first week of school she told the whole class to open up to the back of their um of their notebook okay so we all open to the back of our notebook and then she said write down the reason why you're doing this okay write down the reason why you're doing this okay um, write down the reason why you are doing engineering or electrical engineering per se okay and i still remember my reason to this day i remember my reason to this day and um, she said, and then after that, she said, Every, anytime things get hard and you feel like you want to quit, okay, open up to that back 
open up the back of your notebook and read what you wrote today okay so that was it you know um, maybe i'll share with you guys um and, uh i'll share with you guys what i wrote you know but going back to the point okay going back to what is the number one skill what is the number one skill you need to have um what is the number one skill you need to have to become an engineer okay going back to that question the number one skill you need is not even a skill okay the number one skill you need is actually not even a skill it's something that anybody can do okay anybody can do it um anybody can do it the number one skill you need is just to believe that you can do it it sounds it's easier said than done right don't get me wrong here it's easier said than done but you have to believe that you can do it like that's the first stage like that's the first step that should be your foundation you have to believe that you can do it you know you have to even if you have to tell yourself that those things okay yeah it's um there's something called self-talk okay self-talk is very powerful okay if you tell yourself that you can actually do this you know you will be able to it's not gonna be easy you're still gonna have sleepless nights you're gonna have to grind through it you're gonna have to there's gonna be some classes and some topics some subjects that you're gonna have to spend all day studying okay all day studying is you're gonna run into those roadblocks okay and those are all phases of growth okay you're gonna have to go through those things to grow and get stronger you know when you're in this kind of um in, in this kind of field major engineers is a challenge okay engineering is a challenge okay we have so much more we have so much tools now though to our disposal to make it easy to understand there's so much uh, online platforms where people are doing or explaining things um, uh, very 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 clearly and uh, they're giving you graphical uh, ex examples and maybe even like a storytelling type but there's so many information and um, there's so many information and content out there for you to understand exactly what you're learning and possibly what you be, what you what you will be using it for what you what you're learning and how and the applications of it down the road like say you get when you get out of school okay so take advantage of that but going back to the number one skill you need you know to graduate as an engineer that so you don't drop out is you have to believe man you have to believe that you can do it you know that's the foundation if you believe you can do it i believe everything else is going to fall in place you're going to fight you're going to study you're going to sacrifice you know going out some nights you know um, and figure out what works best for you you know um, and then you're going to have some days too where you're taking some easy classes and then you're, you you can party up that those times or or do what you like okay where it's not as stressful and then there's going to be some semesters man you're going to have to buckle down it's just that's what it is but so um i have i was i have another video here that talks about mathematics okay um math tends to give people a lot of problems say in the engineering field um so if you don't want to drop out of engineering right because of math don't be a victim of mathematics watch that video and pick up maybe the tip i gave in there okay so that's what i got for you guys today um I'm keeping it short you know um support the channel by subscribing liking the video maybe sharing it to a loved one a family member or somebody that you think needs to hear this message catch you guys in the next video peace